Hello everyone, finally it's time for a walkthrough on this Monaco Camelot 2009. I am so excited to show you guys, so here we go. There is a keypad here to lock and unlock the RV, which is pretty cool. Alright, so first off, let's go see the driver and passenger area. I have to say that I love the color of the interior of this RV. It is a bright, the shade of brown I like. And here are the controls for random stuff I'm not sure about. The passenger cup holder, buttons, and an area to put my stuff in. I actually put my little purse, my phone, and some more stuff which is pretty awesome and this is how the front area looks like from way in the back and when i was recording this i was like oh it actually has seat pockets or whatever you call it it's pretty big and the passenger one has one too i love how there are sun visors on the side this is so awesome this seat is so comfortable you can move it up bring it back bring it up and finally sleep okay okay enough of that let's go ahead and move on to the living area living room whatever you want to call it there is a couch here and a two shelves with footrest on this side we have the two shelves you can recline in these chairs the kids really love these chairs they play their nintendo switch read book or watch netflix videos these are so fun anyway these are the buttons for the lights the dinette light ceiling light sconce under cap light okay Okay, let's switch to the other side this couch is so i do not like the color but whatever this has a drawer underneath it and this is not a jackknife couch is that what you call it it does not move to a bed but you can still lay on it for resting and small kids can sleep on it like my eight-year-old and there is this little spot here for camping brochures let's move on to the kitchen my favorite area this kitchen is so pretty and cute i love how the stove stop is covered underneath the countertop these are actually pretty heavy i was like oh gosh whoa and i actually put the cooktops in this drawer right here because when we drive it gets kind of loud oh, when i actually use the drawers i have to figure out a way where to put this because uh yeah it can get pretty loud and this is a three top burner let's scooch over to the sink area I love the sink compared to the travel trailer one that we used to have. This is way bigger and I can't wait to experience the dishwashing. Not really. But here is the area where you put those countertop pieces so it's out of the way. There are four slots for each one of those countertops and the cabinet next to that has a drawer that slides out which is pretty nice i plan to put like garbage bags gloves and dishwashing stuff that's out of the way next let's look at the drawers there are three drawers total on this side and another cabinet here i'm not quite sure what those marks are but last but not least this cabinet will be for all of my cooking stuff there is a microwave oven here and it doubles as a confection oven and this is how it looks like inside oh i really like that ceramic plate on the bottom by the way now it's time to check out the fridge for some reason i didn't even know this freezer has an ice making machine and it was making ice that whole time i was like whoa so this looks like it's pretty small but it's actually not it's very roomy i still had so much room left it has three drawer thingies for all of my needs i'm so excited to go camping and cook now let's take a look at the dining area and the tv area I know this is like entertainment stuff, but I plan to use these cabinets for a pantry. And there's one at the top also, which I plan to use for my uh, other kitchen appliances. This table right here actually pulls out and it will seat four people. But I want to sit on that comfortable chair next to it. I want to be all comfy. There are four cabinets here underneath the table. There are two outlets underneath the table right here. And there are two small cabinets and two big ones i really love this countertop on the side of the table it would be so nice to be able to put food there utensils napkins without it taking so much room on the table 
these blends are pretty cool it's a light filtering and also a darkening one and this is how to switch between the two i really like it it's easy to use all the blinds in the rv are actually like that which is pretty awesome all right let's move on to the bathroom there is a sink here and vanity cabinets and a shower the shower is just oval and i really like how roomy it makes it seem like and it also has a uh seat i guess you can sit on it a soap holder and a shampoo bottle holder i guess i don't need a shower caddy hmm pretty cool okay now let's look at the mirror cabinets this is actually a lot of room i'm not even sure what i should put in it to fill it up but yeah this is pretty roomy i'm planning on putting tension rods on the top parts because it doesn't have any blockers <laughs> Pretty cool backsplash and I really like the towel holders as well and the toilet paper holder is the good kind okay and like I said there are so many cabinets I'm gonna decide on what I'm gonna put in them that will be in the next videos all right guys check out the bedroom the last room in the RV being in an RV you think that it's everything's gonna be compact but this is actually a lot of room by the way this bed is a full-size bed and there is a storage underneath it and i think these are chairs for the dining room but yes this bed is a sleep number bed and you can adjust how firm or soft it is and it also has a fan on the top let's go check out uh if the fan works i mean hopefully it works let's press number two okay it works and now it's really cold let's turn it off let's check out all the cabinets and drawers in this bedroom there's a one at the top here and i believe three drawers yeah one two and three and then on the tv side there is this entertainment stuff right here and then underneath that there are two more that one's super big and this one right here is the washer and dryer area but this one is a closet which we put pillows in there for now and this is the washer and dryer combo and i don't think it works okay so let's move on to the closet this mirror closet is so cool what do you guys think about my blanket sweater i really like it i actually have a review that you can check out here it has a hoodie it's super warm okay now let's finally check out this closet this is pretty roomy oh my gosh it's a lot of clothes like how many clothes i mean are we gonna change really and there's this whole bunch of things that are here that i think i'm gonna take out all right so there are a big cabinet at the top Ooh, yeah really big with three separate and that is it for this bedroom Ooh, i just can't wait to organize all right now let's backtrack to all the places that we've been to and slowly get out of the rv and check out what's on the outside and it actually snowed shortly after we arrived home and it is freezing outside so i'm gonna go through the outside real quick before i freeze to literal death okay and we will begin in the back of the rv Let's go on over to the other side and let's take a look at what we have there. 
this time we'll start in the front so this front one is um i actually don't know what this is called fuse box electricity thingy whatever the appropriate technical name there it is and behind the wheel we have this right here this is the diesel tank and the water tank diesel tanks on the left water tanks on the right and it holds like 100 gallons i believe remember the storage with the slide outs this is on the other side so it goes all the way back which is so awesome this will definitely make organizing so much more easy with this much room and there's one more thing to look at which is the water hookups and also the gray and black tank dump we actually have a little space heater right now because it is freezing cold and don't want anything to get messed up during this time but anyways here it is guys that is the end of the walkthrough oh and these are the awning there's one at the front one in the back and i'm not opening that because like i said icicles all right guys thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye